Well, a Catholic journalist is currently being investigated by British police for allegedly misgendering a transgender girl. That's right. This took place originally on Good Morning Britain, the show Good Morning Britain out there in England, where Caroline Farrow was having a discussion with Susie Green, who is a transgender activist and happens to have a transgender daughter who is 25 years old, of course, originally biologically a male, and then identifying now as a transgender woman. Now, according to the police, now, they're saying that it's not necessarily something that she said in this interview on Good Morning Britain, which, by the way, I'll put a link to that in the description below. You guys can watch the exchange. But apparently it was some follow-up tweets that Caroline had posted on Twitter that were apparently harmful, that were offensive, that were against Twitter's policies, and you could even be criminally prosecuted in England for it as well. If you're posting anything where you're saying that a girl is not really a girl, she's really a boy, if you misgender them in any sort of way, that is constituted as hateful content, okay? And you can be arrested for that and put in prison. Now, Caroline is, is, has stated, she's like, I did nothing wrong. She's like, I'm adhering to my biblical beliefs. I believe that, you know, there's only two genders, man and woman. Of course, you cannot say that because you will be investigated and, like I said, possibly thrown in prison. Now she's having to face an interview from police who want to interview her about this alleged incident where she even said on Twitter that if she doesn't show up for this, that that could also be a reason for them to prosecute her and throw her in prison. I want to make something clear to you guys. This is where we are at in the world now, okay? This is where we are at, where you can be thrown in jail for simply stating the facts that there is only two genders, male and female, okay? This is what they waste their time on now. This is what they're going to come after you for because of that. They're going to label you as transphobic. And guess what? They don't care about your Bible. They do not care what the Bible says. Okay? They deem the Bible as hate speech for crying out loud. So you can't even use that. You can't even say, well, this is against my beliefs. They don't care. They hate the Bible. They hate God. And they hate everything that it stands for. And if you do not comply with their rules, you will be put in prison. Now, one thing I can say for Caroline here is that she said that if I'm put in prison for my religious beliefs, then so be it. She said she'll serve the time. She will serve the jail time. That would it, it would have been all worth it. So that is very interesting. You know, how many other people could say that they would do that? That they would take the jail time and they would rather be thrown in prison than give up, you know, than, you know, deny the Lord, to deny God, to not adhere to their, their biblical religious beliefs. Caroline is willing to do that. Now, will she be put in prison? You know, I don't know. I think she is going to go to the interview. But the funny thing is that she was attacked maliciously on Twitter by people for her comments on the transgender girl, for basically just saying she's not really a girl, she's a boy. She was threatened violently. She was threatened with sexually explicit comments. And guess what? The police did nothing. Nothing was done to those people. They could say whatever they want because of the fact that she was violating the whole misgendering thing. But apparently you can make, th you can make physical threats, you can make, you can make death threats to people, threaten to rape them even, and Twitter won't do anything. And British police, forget it. They're not going to investigate that because they like that. <coughs> this is where we're at. My question is, what will you do if you're faced with something similar? Will you give up your beliefs, forget what the Lord says, or would you even go to prison for it? It's the question I raise to you guys. You guys let me know what you think. Down below, as always, I appreciate all of your support, guys. Please give this video a like. Also, share this video with your friends and family. And if you are new, please click that subscribe button, browse through, and check out some of our other great video content we have here for you at the channel. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I will talk with you soon.